our career, if nothing else, has prepared us to have literally anything thrown at us and we'll kind of grab it and start running. And that like, so I think having a creator own book, the, the luxury of being able to go, what would we write given, given half a chance kind of thing? How would we write this, this conspiracy of Ravens one? Cause it's, it's the first time we've done one that's all ages and that feels lovely it feels really nice to be able to write something and have the kids be asking oh what are you doing what's that you know that looks fun we just got it's just come out now and then we've got our books through and so my eight-year-old is like oh what's that oh can I read it I was like definitely you can read it and so that's what he's got next to his bed and he's Uh like oh can I can I read for a bit longer and I'm like yes you can read for a bit longer but make sure you give us good feedback this is (laughs) we need to know (laughs) give us that five-star amazon review (laughs) exactly exactly but it feels sort of like coming back full circle because because wild girl was the first book we ever did together and that was you know all ages and about a young girl and it was all kind of it had folklore and fantasy and stories about birds and animals and it, it's kind of a fascination of ours over the years and it just feels really perfect to be sort of coming back to that and and also it kind of makes me a bit cross because I'm like see <laughs> we told you we told you in 2003 that this was an excellent idea why did nobody <laughs> nobody believe us the the process between us as a couple is it's always different depending on depending on what the project is really because it's there's some stuff that I'm I'm really into like I did um, classics in English for my degree so anything that I can uh, remotely lead off down a sort of classical kind of bent towards you know Greek gods or whatever Mm -hmm. then I'm I'm happy to do that but John is really into he's really big on films he's really big on kind of Poe and Lovecraft and all the kind of history of horror and he's into sort of music and stuff so I guess what our comics end up being is kind of a a mixture of all of that but (laughs) in different proportions I guess depending on who's put what into it. Is it easier or harder to do like completely create your own work when say you're working for franchises I imagine there are certain limitations you know you you're dictated certain you can do this you can't do this you know you you we want the characters to end up in this place so that it'll carry on, you know, is it more freeing to not have those limitations or does it actually sort of give you too much freedom in the sense? Um, I, yeah, I think that is an element of it. I mean, if you basically, if it's, if it has any flaws when it's creator owned, they're all yours. 